getting diffuse light is uh, relatively straightforward and it can be also inexpensive and that's what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, I'm going to use this wine bottle as an example and uh, we're going to talk about something called grid cloth. So hello my name is Steve. I am an amateur photographer. I enjoy using old packs and old heads. The kind of stuff that would have been used in a professional studio 20 or 30 years ago. Um, it it uh, th that old professional gear holds up, so and it's also a good deal if you buy it used. Um, so, grid cloth is maybe not that familiar to people that shoot stills or product photography, but it is used a lot by cinematographers and videographers. And uh, what what um, people in those applications need is they need to make really, really large diffuse sources of light uh, for some of their shoots. So uh, the, the stuff that I bought here is from a company called Rose Brand. I'm not affiliated with them. I have no relationship to them other than I've given them some money to buy their product. Um, but the uh, product that you get is sold by the yard and it is also uh, about 60 inches wide. So um, uh, $10, $12 a yard. I was able to buy uh, nine, eight, 27 yards of the material in three different strengths. So I bought three nine yard rolls, one at uh, uh, what's called full grid, which is what you're looking at right now in this wine bottle, one at uh, half grid, which is what you're looking at here. And you'll notice that uh, it's uh, not as quite as diffuse. And then another nine yards at something called quarter grid. And that's where you're looking at here. So in these three examples, if you take a look at the uh, left shoulder on the bottle, uh, you know, here it's very smooth. Uh, when you go down to quarter, you can see it's a little bit of a hot spot. And when you do it at half, it, there's less of a hot spot. So the the you know full grid provides the most diffusion quarter grid provides the least diffusion and uh, the the good news is is that you can double the material up so if we take a look at full grid here and if I double up the uh, half grid so this is full and this is half grid doubled th those are pretty close uh, to uh, the amount of diffusion. And if I double up um, quarter grid, it, it looks nice, but there's still a little bit of a hot spot on the shoulder. So this is quarter doubled, this is a full, this is half, this is uh, again quarter doubled, half doubled, and then full. So the reason that I bring that to your attention is, you know, like I said, the way this stuff is sold is by the yard, it's $12 a yard, if you uh, buy, uh, you know, and I would recommend getting more than a yard. I would, I would at a minimum buy three yards um, so that you have material to work with. The other thing with three yards is that it could grow floor to ceiling in a room. And, uh, you know, you have a really, really, really large diffuse light source when you do that. Um, but when you buy it uh, in, you know, in a longer length, you have the option to double it up and still keep it a long length. Um, the other thing that I like about this is it's very lightweight. So the way that I hang it is um, it's called waterfalling. So you take a light stand or a C-stand and then you put a, a grip head on top of that and then you put a grip arm in the grip head. And typically grip arms are 40 inches long. Um, and then you can put the, the, the cardboard tube over that and then just pull the material out. And wherever you stop pulling the material, it just stays there. It doesn't want to unroll on its own. So that's kind of nice. And when you're done and you want to put it back, um, you, all you need is uh, masking tape. Uh, you know, the kind of stuff that you'd use if you're doing some house painting. So that's pretty cool also. The masking tape is strong enough to hold it uh, uh, wound around the roll, but it's not so sticky that it'll leave any residue on it when you take the, uh, the, the tape off. So um, it's very compact, it's very lightweight, and it provides really large diffuse light, and it's not that expensive. So the three rolls that I bought with shipping 
in tax, I think we're all around, uh, so maybe $130, $150, somewhere in that range. Um, and one of the other things about the, uh, the cloth is that it, it tends to uh, make the, the light go in a vertical and uh, horizontal pattern. So I've stopped uh, this down and I made the light at a pretty uh, low power to accentuate what it looks like. Normally you would just see that the whole um, piece of diffusion would be evenly illuminated. And I've tested it with the light meter and that's certainly the case. Um, but it uh, it does throw this kind of pattern. It's, you know, I don't know that you need to know that, but it is kind of interesting. So the other thing that you can do with this material besides blasting a flash through it is uh, you can use it if you are shooting outside, and uh, especially if it's not that windy. So if you're doing a portrait outside and you're using available light uh, and you are willing to take a stand and, a, and an arm out to hang it, uh, if you get 9 yards or 12 yards of the material, you can put it pretty high into the air um, and get it to, and because it's 60 inches wide, you know, you have a large area to block out the sun and just soften the sun uh, for your subject. So to me, that's uh, pretty cool, and that's also another way that they use this material um, for videos or for cinematography. Uh, they might just put it inside of a frame, but you could certainly waterfall it and uh, have somebody with you to, you know, make sure it doesn't blow around that much. So I, uh, I hope that helps. And, um, you know, the, the, I'm a pretty big fan of grid cloth, if you, uh, if you couldn't tell. Uh, and the only reason that I'm mentioning the company Rosebrand is because I, that's, that is one place I know that you can get it. I'm sure there's other places you could get it. Um, but I had a good experience at buying it there. So I'm just, if you are interested, I'm just trying to save you a few steps for kind of sourcing your own.